the best woman has won. Head. For the first time this season, the head of house now holds the power of immunity. And it's no more better than the Nerita pair. Guys, the Nerita pair went through stress, went through endurance, and emerged the winner of this week's immunity challenge, and also are the winner of the head of house ballot. And in today's video, or in this video, I'm just going to give you the details of everything that went on, how they played the immunity challenge, and how they emerged the winner. Because guys, it was tough. And then luckily for them, they emerged the way. So let's uh, jump into this video. But before I do that, I just want to welcome you all to today's video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, all you have to do to become a member of this community is to give this video a like, subscribe, turn on your post notification so you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. And then uh, drop your comment down below in the comment section. I'll appreciate that. And for my returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you. You are the reason why I do what I do. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, the immunity challenge came after this housemate. We are done playing the head of house ballot and had a couple of times to let that sink in. And we already know the Rita won the head of house. And uh, I made a live stream about that. So go check it out. They won the head of house after getting eight votes from the from the possible 12 ballot that was casted today. And uh, to share the head of house room, they kind of took everybody uh, on our words by snobbing the aces as their roommate for the head of house and decided to choose checkers as their roommate for this week's head of house uh, uh, room and uh, for the immunity challenge big brother called in this housemate and gave them the rules and for this week's uh, immunity challenge game it was played in two uh, sessions first game and then the second game and uh, for the first game big brother called it uh, I don't even know what big brother called it but uh, here is how the game is played so this housemate, you know, they are paired. So one person will be a thrower, while one person will be a gym body. And guys, remember a gym uh, bro or a gym sis. And remember this week's uh, team, the team for the week, guys, is a uh, health and wellness. So everything that this housemate will be doing will be channeling the team of this week. So it didn't come as a surprise when this uh, the immunity challenge was occupied with a gym it was occupied with a workout session so for this first game they felt there will be a thrower and there will be a, a a gym girl or a gym a gym man so what the thrower will do is big brother has set out a pad on the arena so he marked out a distance so the thrower will have to throw from a certain point throw the pillow and land it on a pad that was set out big brother set out three pad with three different sizes two hat was big but one was small and big brother equally provided two large pillows and one small pillow so all the thrower had to do is by the end of three minutes because big brother gave them a countdown of three minutes all they have to do is make sure that they balance the pillow from where they are and throw it and balance it on the pad and after that the housemate with the first five housemates with the fastest time will emerge and play for the second round and uh, guys it was it came as a shock or something that was so simple for this housemate was so difficult for a lot of them but uh, i wrote everything down how they played the game and uh, how who was the thrower and who was the gym girl and the gym uh, gym man so without wasting much of your time let us uh, start so big brother gave out the instruction if the pillow should fall if the pillow should fall and not land on the pad that he provided, the gym body is going to do either a jumping jack or a push-up. And the push-up that the gym body is going to do is written on the pad. So Big Brother has five, four, three written all over the pad that this housemate are throwing in the pillow. So pillow one will land on five. If it doesn't land on five, the gym bro or the gym sis is going to do five, uh, five push-up or five jumping jack then for the uh, uh, for uh, part number three and part number four uh, uh, all the same thing they will do the same thing if the pillow doesn't land on the pad so the first housemate that 
went was the radicals radicals after three minutes they managed to get two pillow to land on the pad then the next were shatoria shatoria didn't get any pillow on the pad they failed woefully the next we are aces aces got one pillow to land on the pad and uh, for for radicals femi was the thrower why my why making was the gym uh, gym bro for shatoria sean was the thrower while victoria was the gym sis for aces they got one pillow uh, to balance on the pad so for the aces tofa is the thrower and uh, what's his name again? What was his And uh, Suj is the gym bro. For Flourish, Flourish got one pillow to balance. And for the thrower, Ruti was throwing the pillow. And uh, DJ Flo was the gym gear. Uh, for Mbadiwe Twins, Mbadiwe Twins managed to get three of their pillows to balance at the end of the three minutes time at that big brother set out. And uh, Ozzy was the one throwing why oc was the one working out for zingwe zingwe managed to get two pillows balanced by the end of three minutes and uh, zion was the thrower why uh Shinwe was the gym was the gym sis for nerita nerita also managed to balance three of their pillows which was it kind of as a lock or i don't know if it was strategy for them because this week they've been in the way they've been moving winning the head of house and also managing to balance the pillows it is a massive feat and big brother congratulated them for it so Nelly was the thrower and anita was the gym sis for the streets the streets got two pillows to balance uh toby was the thrower Y mayor was the gym body better got zero guys better didn't manage to get any pillow balance on the pad and the thrower was ben and the gym but the gym bro or the gym sis was none other than our dog tj and guys you already know tj is a sore loser so i would like to see how I, I can't wait to see how he's going to react to them losing this uh week's immunity and uh, guys let me know your thoughts what are your thoughts about this week's immunity because from the game they are playing it is not tough but if you watched it live, you see that it was tough. So share your thoughts down below. What do you think about the game they played? Do you think that Big Brother is giving this housemate the free liberty to win the immunity? Or do you think that Big Brother hasn't uh, actually found a game, a tough game for this housemate to play, to win their immunity? Let me know what your thoughts are down below. So moving on, guys. Shekas got zero. Zero pillow to balance. And the thrower was Onyeka. Why the gym sees was Chizoba. And these are two housemates that are also uh, going for each other's head whenever they manage to lose their wager or whenever they manage to lose a task. So I also want to see how they unravel and if they will bite each other's head off this week. But uh, let's keep moving, guys. Last but not the least to play the game was the double K. So double K came in with two pillow and uh, Kesha was the one throwing white Keriri was the gym bro and after that big brother already made an uh made a statement that five of the uh, the first five to have the best time or balance more pillows are going to advance but uh, after this whole game and seeing that only nerita and the Mbajiwe twins had uh three pillows balanced they had they completed the task within the three minutes of the allocated time so big brother was like okay no more or five of you let the two top two that emerged first and second or the top the top two that completed the task go for, uh, complete for the final let them compete in the final so that was how we had them but the U.S. twins and the little pair playing for the round two and guys the round two was an endurance challenge yo guys the round two was an endurance challenge and it reminded me of the time of uh, Ile Baye during the All-Star season, where Ile Baye was holding on to her dear life, balanced, and at the end of the day, won the immunity. So that was the, almost the same thing that this housemate we are doing. So for the Endurance Challenge, Big Brother provided the tray in the arena. And in that way, Big Brother added some items, I think a brick, oranges, some fruit inside the tray, coconut, apple, all sort of fruit. And all Big Brother tags this housemate is to raise the tray above their head guys instruction 
instruction played a huge role in the winner of this game instruction was what decided who the winner of this game would be so the brother is housemate to carry the tray on their head above their head to carry it up and not let the tray touch their head that whomever lets the tray touch their head will be disqualified and the other uh, player will emerge the winner and for this game big brother has swapped the thrower of the previous game to now be the comforter so the gym bros are now the player but the thrower of the previous game are now the comforter what that means is while they were carrying the tree their partner are busy comforting them if they are tired they will find them give them tea all sort of that just comfort them and make sure that they endure till big brother says otherwise and according to big brother as time goes on he will keep adding things into the tray and then immediately they started playing the game i don't know if ozzy was kind of i don't know if he didn't understand it or maybe his weight and the size of his muscle uh, didn't let him uh, raise his hand well because ozzy was like this like i'm like ozzy raise it up raise it up nothing is going to happen if you raise it up or maybe his armpit doesn't look nice and he doesn't want us to see. Because I don't know why uh, uh, Anita was like this and Ozzy, and Ozzy was like this, shaking. You can feel the pain, you can feel the, the, the pressure piling up in Ozzy's uh, muscles. But Anozi was like this, Ozzy was like trembling, trembling. And at the end of the day, the trade touched his hair and Big Brother called it a quit. And uh, it gave a... Uh, Anita, the win. That was how Anita and the Nerita pair emerged the winner of the immunity challenge that was played just minutes ago. So guys, let me know what are your thoughts down below. Because seeing the Nerita pair and how they've been moving, winning the minute, winning the head of house challenge with eight, that winning the head of house ballot with eight, eight guys out of twelve vote that was casted. And also being the first head of house to win immunity. I can't wait to see how they are running this week. Will go, guys. Do you think that them as the head of house is going to be the best reign that this season will see, or do you think they will fumble and lose their wager tax presentation come on uh, come Friday? Let me know what your thought are down below about the head of house game, the immunity game, and everything in general about Big Brother happening this week. I'll see you guys on another video. Have an amazing night. Bye bye.